making a tooth wheel in Tinkercad for a mechanical stimulator that triggers an automotive ECU. First we need a disc. I like mine 80 millimeters. So I hold the shift key down, pull on the corner until I get to 80. I like my discs 2 mil high, so we'll punch in 2 mil. Sides have too many flats, so we'll change that to make it more roundy. And we'll put this in the middle. Next we need a box the same size. So we'll grab that, hold the shift, pull to 80. This height will make 2 mil as well. We now need a subtraction for one of the quarters. So we grab a box, grab the corner, that was 80, so this will be 40. We can make the height the same to make it look pretty. Note that the first object is still selected by its box. We hold the shift down and click on the other object, align. We want to align to this object, but on the corner, to corner. Then we'll group that. We now have to make it a hole. We align that to our circle. So we click on the circle, hold the shift down, click on our subtraction, align, align it to the circle, this edge to this edge. We now grab our subtraction. We duplicate that and we have to rotate it so we end up with one tooth. And to do that we grab our calculator. It's 360 divided by double the number of teeth. We have 12 teeth so we'll be dividing them by 24. So each tooth is 15 degrees. Get rid of that. We now have to rotate one of these subtractions 90 degrees minus the 15 which will be 75 degrees. So grab the corner and type in 75. The next problem is if we group all this and end up with one tooth, we can't rotate it about the center of the disc. It'll rotate about its own center. So we select the disc, we duplicate, but we lower it under the table to 2 mil, so minus 2. That's right. Now we have to select the three objects. So we'll click on the original disc this subtraction and this subtraction and we'll group that. We now have our tooth. We hold the shift down and click on our discs under the plane, duplicate and rotate it. If you have an odd number of teeth you'll have to move one tooth at a time. But since we have an easy wheel with a number of teeth that can be divided by four, we can do it the easy way. And that is you hold the shift key down, grab your arrows, and it'll snap to 180. We select our tooth, hold the shift, select our other tooth, group. Now duplicate that. We grab this and move this double the angle of our tooth angle, which is 15 plus 15 is 30. So we'll move that. Just punch in minus 30. Then we'll duplicate that. Again, again, again. And if you've got a missing tooth, one more time. Now grab this one and bring it back that 15 degrees. Punch in 15. We'll ungroup that tooth. We'll select our odd tooth and delete that. Now put a hub disc in the center. So we grab a cylinder. Make it roundy. I like my tooth 10 mil long, so 80 minus 10 minus 10 is 60. Hold the shift key down, drag to 60. I like my teeth thin for the optical sensor, so they're 2 mil, but I like my hub a little bit thicker for strength, so I'll make that 3 mil. We hold down shift and click on one of the discs below. We align to the disc below, center to center. Now we have to get rid of our discs below. So we get a subtraction, we can make it 80 or more, we can make it the 2 mil or anything a bit more, we'll make it 3 just to be safe. We now have to lower that under the table, 3 mil, so we want minus 3. We hold the shift key down, click a disc under the object, align to the disc under the object, this way and this way. Select all and group that. We now need a hub for our shaft, so we grab a cylinder. 
my shaft is 10 mil and I want a wall's thickness of 3 so I'll make this 16 small objects are easier to just type numbers in we can make them more roundy if you like we shift this click the center hub align to this hub I'll be here this one's already aligned you can change the height before or after just click on that 20 mil sounds good now I need a subtraction so we grab a cylinder we need 10 mil for our 10 mil shaft we know our hub's 20 mil we'll make this one a touch more make it 22 I'm going to lower it 1 mil to make sure it cuts a hole right through everything don't forget to make this thing roundy we hold the shift down click on our disk align to this disk here to here then we group everything we check from the top as a simple test we'll do a visual by putting it on a grid line just use your arrow keys for accuracy zoom in click the scroll wheel down move the object it looks in the center so it must be alright it's on the major grid lines it looks in the center so it should be alright if you want to add strengtheners you can add wedges here just come down make a thin wedge 3mm zoom in a bit scroll wheel click it across click on our object hold the shift key down grab our arrow turn a 90 hold the shift down click on our central disk align to the disk this line and this line now select our wedge use your arrow keys so it looks nice scroll wheel click to the center duplicate hold the shift the key down spin 180 use your arrow keys till it looks the same just check the top it looks about right so we hold the shift key down click on the other wedge group duplicate hold the shift key down spin 180 and that's our wheel you can group all if you like but I usually just export everything in design and STL it after I print the thing it shrinks a little bit so this hole gets a bit tight so I run a drill through it make sure I've got a good fit on the shaft if you don't have a drill you might have to test print one of these hubs and see how much it shrinks and give it extra clearance before you print it and that's a tooth wheel